worst. Some days I can edit that out. Okay. I didn't tell me we were recording. Look, there's my shirt. This is my first kitten. It's clearly. <laughs> We've been running all day. Yes. Um, well, lots of things. All um, the things. Oh. Because then it'll be surprised. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Um, oh, I, we got glasses from the Green Monkey. Um, and mine says uh, TGIF, uh, motherfuckers. And mine says, I can't wait to be ashamed of what I do this weekend. It's perfect. And we are out of town. Yeah, so, so there's no grown-ups with us. We are we'll kind of be held accountable. Off the rails. No one here knows us. Mm -mm. Oh, that's the best part. Oh, and and we changed the license plate on Tisha's truck, so we, we can't did. call the police. Po on us. So no matter what we do, I'm sorry. Do you want me to get? Have you had this before? I feel like I have. It's delicious though. So we we're going. going ah. I can move. No, we're good. We're good. We just got here. We're in Southport, North Carolina. Yes, um, we're staring at, staying in an Airbnb that is actually amazing as Airbnbs go. So we got an upgrade. I got to talking with the um, host and the place we were going to stay was actually like one room. Just like one room in a house. Uh, and I didn't read the fine print, which was, um, it was advertised as two beds. But actually the second bed is a trundle that you have to rent for $15 a night. Mommy. And so I just told her. I know her, what she was up to. That's all I'm saying. I know what she was up to. So I hit her up and I was like, hey, I'm sorry I didn't read the fine print, but I got to rent that trundle. I need that bed. She's like, hey, so for the price of that trundle, I have another full condo that's not being in use. Do you want to use it? Yes. What? For an additional $30. This thing is awesome. And we are walking distance from the water here in this cute little town. So we are having uh, cheese and crackers because we're going out to dinner to the like Southport Pub. Civilized adults. Well, well. Hmm. I gotta eat something. Cause I ain't eating it all day. It's Cause she almost ate some tater tots in the frozen food aisles at the Walmart. Oh, ripped up in the bag and just ate it right there. I mean, they're already pre-cooked, it's fine. I don't, I don't, I shame. I am shame in my potato game. <laughs> Mm -mm. It's just potatoes. It's just potatoes. So I'm having a hot bullet because I bought a 12 pack of Sierra Nevada beers uh, at the store. They're all IPAs except for. Oh, there's some stouts in there. Uh, two chocolate stouts? Mm hmm. Some kind of chocolate stout. So. And I, I'm excited about that. And I have, um, I have Pendragon from Fortnite uh, located in Cary, North Carolina. 4.8% um, Porter. It's brilliant because everybody has this contest as far as like, well, my alcohol content in my beer is going to be 10% and mine's going to be 11%. I can't drink that. Yeah, because it's all like barrel aged. And, and it tastes like crazy. alcohol. It just, it smells like when you pick it up to drink it, it just it smells, just like, smells like grain alcohol. Oh, like we tried one. At uh, Pike Brewing, was it Pike? South, South, South Peak. Southern Peak. Southern Peak. Southern Peak. And uh, the lady was very excited about giving it to us, the barmaid. She was excited. And she um, handed it to Tish. The Tish was like, whew. I like, couldn't even, I mean, she I just barely smelled it. took a sip of it, like barely. And I was like, well, let me taste it. Because I prefer the stronger beer. So I was like, well, you just see. Girl, they kill a dark beer. It when was, they do that, it was, opinion. it just hit you like the it hit you, the smell hit you, and then the flavor hit you, and it was all just alcohol. And it wasn't even like it was discernible, like oh, it tastes like a little bit like bourbon. No, <sighs> just alcohol. Yeah. Then after a minute, you got a little bit of porter. Is it a porter? A stout? Uh, it's a porter or stout? Yeah. And then after that, you just got more alcohol. So it literally tastes like you just did a shot of some mystery solution that you should not put in your mouth. So, we don't care for a super high gravity, barrel aged, nothing. No, no. no. And the, I get like with the staging, the double staging with the IPAs, how you get a higher alcohol content. I get it. But this is just, I'm not running that. Oh, oh no. Mm, there you go, you tell them girl. So here this is eight percent. Eight percent. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, still, like a double IPA is eight percent. That's a reasonable. Yeah, 
That's just what they are. Yeah, I mean, that's reasonable. No. I mean, you can get a regular IPA at 7%, 6 or mm -hmm. 7%, maybe even 8 I mean, it's not another yeah. really question. But it doesn't, it still has floral notes, and it's still uh, a little skunky, like, you know, if you want... You know you want that if mm -hmm. you drink oh, an IPA. Yeah, you, you do. You do. You want it to be floral. You want it to be skunky. Yeah. And it tastes like beer. But if the beer that's barrel aged, it doesn't really taste like whiskey. Like, I don't, I don't, I'll just order even, a whiskey. I don't think it even tastes like whiskey. I don't know. Because I like scotch and it don't taste nothing like that. Oh, it tastes like grain alcohol. You're right. It does. It tastes like grain alcohol. It's crazy. So on our trip to Southport today, we stopped at Bittenville Battlefields. Yes. Um, we it's had very, um, it's cute, not cute. Um, they have a lot of historic houses, that, like multiple historic, historic houses, some of which are not currently being used. It's just a big sign that says this is a historic house yeah. and you can't come in here. Uh, so like chain across the driveway. One of those was historic houses that had the chain across the driveway, uh, which if you don't know here in the South is the, um, universal symbol for you. You guys can't come in here. Uh, even though there's nothing on either side of the chain you, except for a post. You're going to get shot. Yeah. You go just walk around. You can just walk around the posts and yeah. go right to whatever it is. Yeah. But the chain means don't go in there. Yeah. So, um, so we went to, we drove past a couple, but the one of the ones that was really funny was it's had a big historic building sign and all that stuff. And I had an old barn to the back that was a little, pretty run down. Uh, but right next to the barn was like a 1990 Ford Ranger that mm. clearly had not run in a long time. Yeah. And then about 50 feet away from the Ford Ranger was about a 2000 like Ford what is the Ford minivans called? Aerostars? Something like that. Yeah. 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 But it was clear. So I was like, so this wasn't an important house <laughs> until after 2000. <laughs> like, and I guess they killed that guy and he had to leave all of his cars here. Because, Something. Because you can even, you can send them for the, you can send them to the crusher for $50. Yeah. I mean. Depending on the price of scrap, you might make more. Yeah. I mean, my dad did that with a lot of cars. So. <laughs> but he, what made him mad though, so this is a rule about crushing cars. You can't crush a car with a gas tank in it. Oh, yeah. You have to take a gas tank out. Ah, ah, ah. So, at my parents' house, I will uh, not disclose the location of their old house, not their new house. Um, there may or may not be about 15 gas tanks buried in the backyard. Because you can't do anything with a gas tank out of a car. You just bury it. And it would be fine, except for my parents live in a subdivision that has rules. And I'm pretty sure burying potentially flammable objects is not one of them. But sure, it's cool, it's cool. Y'all just bury this. Yeah, so, I'm just saying, you could've got money if you took that truck to the crusher. Mm-hmm. So, all you gotta do is take the gas tank out. Sit that right. I mean, you could just use a chainsaw and get the gas tank out. Well, I mean, just bought two bolts. Is it? I don't know. I don't know either. You gotta get up under there. Yeah, I'm just making it up. We're just spiders we're not... under there. Ooh, <laughs> there's gonna be spiders. We can lie. We can lie all we want because all the podcasters lie. They don't care. There's like, don't, don't fact check us. We're just gonna say what we want to say. I love, so, I love the podcasters, but they just love to talk a bunch of shit and, and not fact check. And so we're gonna go with the two bolt theory. Yeah. Two bolts holding the gas tank in place. Gas tank. And then like a rubber tube and. That's it. Two bolts and a rubber tube. So you could just rip the rubber tube out. Yeah. And then yeah. just the two bolts. Yeah. Yeah. But you have to go underneath it with a flamethrower to get rid of the spiders first. first. Well, you could just set the grass on fire around it. I mean, you're going to send it to the crusher. Who cares? Yeah, that's true. And if the gas tank blows up, well, then you're, it you're wasn't done. meant to well, be. Well, you lost 50 bucks, though. I mean, it wasn't meant to be, though. That's really <laughs> like set the grass on fire. If the car blows up, it wasn't meant to be. You didn't need that $50 that bad. It wasn't meant to be wasn't meant to be that's it that's exactly right yeah we but we um <clears throat> we just go back around our elbow to get to our ass from all that the time. Time. we've had some beers we've been in the car all day like singing really loud oh, oh. wilson phillips some journey yeah melissa etheridge little pink uh -huh. uh, wind us down singing top of our lungs some share yeah oh share yeah so so, I think the people of Southport might have heard a little bit of that as we got to Southport, which is a, I'm gonna go with quiet little village in the off season. That's cute though. It is a very cute little place, but it is the off season. Oh, so yeah. it is, there's nobody here that is not, that doesn't live here. Yeah, yeah. Except for us apparently. We were really, I mean we don't know our way around. 
at all. So we had to do like near me on the phone. And the only place you can get groceries is the Walmart. Oh, the Walmart. Mm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So Walmart, the capital T, Walmart with an S, the Walmart. The Walmarts, yeah. Mm. But, so Trish didn't bring beer, so we had to find beer. Well, thank God, the Sierra, it's good. Yeah. It's not like we had to buy Bush. Oh my God. Oh, it's NASCAR beer. We I would just left out. <laughs> we would not have bought Bush. I'd have been like, let's go to a gas station. Surely to God, <laughs> they got some Yingling. <laughs> Dude, we're, like, no, we're not drinking Bush. Nobody's drinking Bush beer. <laughs> we went to. Unless you really like Bush beer, and then I'm sorry that I said that out loud, but no, I don't. You're, like, you're entitled to an opinion. Mm -hmm. When we went to Pennsylvania, was it Frack Town? Is that where we were in? And we had to go to the, what you call it, the jug store? Yeah, it was called so, the jug store. So that's where you had to buy your alcohol. Was it the jug store? Yeah, they don't, and that's including beer, wine, whatever. Because we're like, hey, can we just roll into town? We need to get something to eat. Where can we get some beer? So we can kick back in the motel room and relax with the beer. And the lady went, the jug, uh, oh, the jug, the jug store. And we went, I'm sorry, what? She's like, yeah, right down that's in the jug not store. The, not the gas station. No, not and, the. And the instructions were, if you get to the. Gas station that like it was like a blue flash black gas or whatever. If you get there, you went too far. Just turn around. Yeah. In the street was her implication. <laughs> now, that is not possible in the daylight no. of any town. So we went down. And so what it was was basically it used to be like a row house. Yeah. But they gutted it and put a bunch of coolers in it. Mm -hmm. And then they put like a hand painted sign. It was like Bob's Jug House. It was about the size of like a dinner plate. Oh yeah. It was tiny. We would just, like literally just drove past it. I think we drove past it three times. Easy, trying to find it. Yeah. We ended up going on a side street and then coming around the corner on the main street and that's how we found it. We're like, oh look. Look, there it is. Yeah. We could tell because of the people standing outside smoking. Honestly. That's really the truth of it. <clears throat> and all they had to choose from was uh, Yingling. Oh, it was terrible. I bought something crazy. It was like a super high gravity something. Because um, I got the ying 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 ling porter. I didn't even brown. know they made one. The ying ling brown. Yeah. That's what she bought. It was bad. It gives me harper. Right. Ying ling gives me harper. It was like the most expensive six pack of beer they had, the sort of thing that I bought. It was like thirteen dollars. Yeah, and it was uh <laughs> But it was a it was something I turned. It was of. wasn't it local? No, it wasn't local. Local Trogs. Trog yes. It was that. Yeah. Trumps. But it was like an IPA. Yeah. Yep. And it was local. To them? I don't know. I don't know. No. Those people. We don't have to fact check. Yeah, it's local to Fracktown. Fracktown. I'm pretty sure there's not any towns named Fracktown. Yes, there is! Pennsylvania! What did we say? Frackville. Frackville, maybe. It was near Centralia. It was right on the highway. Yes. Coming out of Centralia. And it used to be a quality inn. But it had been... I'm going to go with... Uh, Stepped down a notch or two. Your feet stuck to the carpet. I did not ever let my bare feet touch that. Like the carpet. carpet was wet, but it was it was dry. It was sticky. But like when you walked, it was like. No, <laughs> it was. So, so and then they, you know, so we, she got a we got a room with two beds, like two queen beds or whatever, two beds. But you assume in today in today's life that they are I don't know less than twenty years old and also not just. So I can't remember what size this is. So there's a twin bed, mm -hmm. and, and then, then there's full. like a full bed, yeah. and then there's like a double bed, and then there's like a queen bed. But see, grown-ups don't know about all those weird sizes between twin and king because nobody needs to know that. Huh. But these were probably full, like twin, full, then double. These were probably full-size beds. So literally, if I laid in the middle of that bed and I put my arms, oh, sorry, out like this, like like my arms could hang on both sides. <laughs> it was like, I was like, what size bed is this? And the kids was like, I don't know, maybe full? And I was like, I didn't think they made those anymore. And I don't think they make those anymore. I feel like these might have been, I'm gonna use the word vintage. Mm. These oh, might have been yeah. vintage beds. They were super, um, oh, and the refrigerator kept our beer at a nice chilly, um, I'm gonna go, it might be 60 degrees. It was nice. It might have been. Yeah, I think that's, that's being generous. And then, oh my God, the restaurant. Did we not leave? Did we leave beer for the maids? No. No, we brought it. Okay. Oh, no, because they couldn't make the floor not sticky. They don't get any beers. That's true. That's true. 
the, so the, um, the restaurant. So the restaurant. And like, I don't have pictures of the restaurant and I wish I did. Oh my God. So we were all excited because we were staying in this hotel and we were going to this restaurant you could see from the hotel. So yeah. So we were basically drop. nearly sharing a parking lot. They were really close. Yeah. So we were all excited. Drank a couple of beers in the room. Then we're going to go down and eat. Get it. And now everything online, every single person that has made a Yelp review of that restaurant, I can't remember the name of it. Country something. It's probably for the best. Oh, here. Fact check. Yeah. Watch me so, work. So we go down and we go in and it is a um, wood paneled, uh, dark, not dark, dark, but you know, like 25 watt light bulbs instead of like 40 watt light bulbs dark. Oh, and it's called ambiance. Yeah, is it? Is it, it's probably called that so you can't see what you're eating. Okay. That's that. Well, so, my hamburger was a hockey puck, girl. Girl, it was burnt. It's like when your dad forgot he was- Dutch kitchen. Dutch kitchen. That's it. Oh my God. So- And it's they, Frackville. It is Frackville? It is okay. Frackville. Thank so the, the whole place is like a dark green, 50 year old carpeting. Um, and it has those, your grandma had a table with those kind of chairs. She just did. Round table with the square, you, you would have to see those. The, it was like those, uh, what, what are they called? Uh, mission? Uh, I mission like style? mission's too fancy a word for these chairs. And they had the green cushions, like tied on with the string. There's just like the cheap, like the ba most basic kitchen chair that you've ever seen in your whole life. And you've seen a lot of them. And it's just a big round family Just thing. a big round table. And their, their menu was, Quite extensive. It was. They had everything except for Chinese food and maybe Greek food. Like I, legit. Their waste in their kitchen has to be terrible. It must be because but, of all the ingredients they have to buy for like no, one thing. But no, no, no. Every Yelp review raved about the oh, place. Oh, here, here. here. You go. Let's read some. Let's read some. Here we go. I'm gonna get a beer. <clears throat> so. Uh, very polite, friendly, and accommodating staff. Food is served hot and tasty and generous portion sizes. Facility is clean and decor is entertaining. No, that is not an They're entertaining. Yep. Is that, is, your, is that for the plastic flowers on the wall? Did somebody, is somebody's name on, is somebody's like grandpa right now? Uh, well, somebody's name is on there. Um, a favorite stop for us because they consistently meet our expectation. This includes being handicapped accessible which is what's well, true it because was it was wide it was a ramp yeah that went up. and it was wide between the tables so that that part is very true and there were almost no crackheads by the dumpster no yeah um here is uh another one five star um a great place to stop between harrisburg and scranton what'd you step on oh it is um, a great place to stop between Harrisburg and Scranton on Interstate 81. Amazing home cooking, whether you get a sandwich or a full meal with sides. <gasps> we have stopped here multiple times and it's always first rate, either in the diner side or the the dinner side or the dining side. Yes, I there read well. Sides? Uh, apparently. Oh, this one. Oh, my oh my, I loved the pork steak I had recommended to me by my friendly waitress. The atmosphere and theming were spot on. Theming. Theming. There might have been wagon wheels on the wall. Oh, there were a lot of shadow boxes. There were, and then you could buy t-shirts. Very comfy little place with options for quick bites as well as hanging around and taking your time to enjoy your meal with friends. I feel like it's not fair because we come from the triangle where and we've been going to restaurants. I did not see that. Which was in here. Oh, but, oh. so, that I did not see. That's shiny and clean. The part we were in <laughs> was not that. <laughs> the short part we were in was dark. It was. Dark and dingy. And lots and lots and lots of shadow boxes on the walls. With like and, weird things in them. Like, per, like fake milk jugs. Like old milk cans. Yeah. Like fake old yeah. milk cans. Um, but... After all that, what did I get? I got meatloaf because I said, you know what? These people can only actually make so many things. Yeah. So I was like, I'm just gonna get the meatloaf because I know that other people have eaten this. Like I saw somebody with it. I was like, he didn't die. And then Tish got. I got a hamburger. She, I don't know why she ate that hamburger, y'all. I didn't eat it. You ate some of it. I, I like did, half. but. It was like, it was legit like your dad forgot he was cooking you a hamburger on the, on the grill. grill. And then he got drunk and then he went, oh shit, here's your hamburger. Mm -hmm. And it was a puck. Like it was hard. It was, and a big, big slab of iceberg lettuce and, and on a Wonder Bread bun. A Wonder Bread bun and a piece of American cheese. That wasn't melting. No, because that burger was not hot. Oh, it was terrible. The fries were okay. 
But they were like the frozen like steak cut fries. There was nothing exciting about this place. I mean, no, not even I got, the price. I mean, mine was like nine dollars. Yeah, it wasn't. Huh. And they only have like we both ordered a beer, and the beer came out in these like tiny little like fancy glasses. I'm pretty sure that they I paid like six dollars for a ten ounce beer. Okay. Which, based on the choices, was a terrible <laughs> idea. Was that beer there? I got a beer. I think I got a beer there. And it was the tiniest little ridiculous bottle of beer because I can't remember if I got a beer there or not. You probably and not because they probably didn't have anything you wanted to drink. Oh. But oh girl, Dutch kitchen. If don't, you want don't go some marginal like if your mom was a terrible cook and you <gasps> want some comfort food. What is that? That's oatmeal. Oh no. Mm-mm. So, if your mom's a terrible cook and you want some comfort food, go to the Dutch kitchen. Oh if her mom was a terrible cook not, wait and you miss your mom? Go yeah. to the Dutch kitchen. Uh, not sponsored. This is a hashtag not it, sponsored. One hundred percent. Oh yeah. Um She like she's just looking through the pictures. I can't even. <laughs> oh yeah, no, they got yingling. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't I remember. Really I, don't I think remember. yingling might be local to them. I, it is a town over. Yeah. Because we went by and there's that big plant. Yeah. And we walked up uptown and we went to that um in a coffee shop that was like a, a, a library used books. That place was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That place was really cool. It was civilized. But I don't remember what. But that was so that was. by civilized. I mean, like what we have where we live. So I feel like we may not appreciate uh, the um, culture of some and areas of some, of some yeah. relatively indigent um, areas. No Whatever. Hate it, gonna hate Pennsylvania because it's called Frackville. And it's between like two strip mines. <laughs> it's all it's all mining through there. Oh, yeah. Centralia is like right in front of a strip mine. Air bit. It's all strip oh. mines, and it's strip mines. It's not like, ooh, let me just do a little bit of mining and see what's down. It's strip mines, mm -hmm. big, huge strip mines. And we will talk about. We will talk about Centralia, and show you a lot of pictures, and we'll talk about some of the conspiracy theories that go with Centralia as well. We had a good time. We gotta yep. go. Yeah, we do. We gotta go. It's like seven minutes away. We, oh gotta, we gotta take that rickety ass elevator. <laughs> I'm gonna take, the... take y'all on a ride on that elevator. <laughs> so the elevator. So this place is on. We're on the third. Well, third floor. First floor is parking. Second floor. We're on the third floor. Yeah. Uh, so the elevator. Oh, every floor. It's gonna cut off in 25 minutes. Every floor elevator like clicks. <gasps> vibrates I sort of rocks then you're stuck there for like another 15 or 20 seconds and then it slides up a tiny bit clicks rocks and opens. come around the corner okay this is this is the elevator we were talking oh, about yes please enjoy the ride okay I'm just going to second floor oh <laughs> Now we're at the first floor. Oh, hear the clink clink? Wait, it didn't bang. Okay, here it is. We're not done yet. Hang on. So we're on the second floor. Wait for it. Keep waiting. So close. There it is. <laughs> Stop it. Is it recording? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay.